Hi, I'm Nicholas Kilzer. I'm the Senior Science Editor at World Book Publishing. I'm here today to answer the question, how do paleontologists know what dinosaurs ate? Paleontologists working with dinosaur fossils want to know as much about how these creatures lived as possible. An animal's diet will often provide a lot of information about how a particular dinosaur lived. So paleontologists are always interested in learning about what dinosaurs ate. But direct evidence for dinosaur diets is rarely found in the fossil record. For dinosaurs and many other kinds of extinct animals, scientists look at the shape of the animal's body, and especially its teeth, to learn about what it ate. But as Lufengasaurus shows, it's not always easy to tell. Lufengasaurus was a prosauropod dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic period, around 195 million years ago, in what is now China. It's called a prosauropod because it's part of a group of dinosaurs that gave rise to the sauropod dinosaurs. These are the gigantic, long-necked, big-bodied dinosaurs that include some of the largest land animals ever to have lived on Earth. The giant sauropods were all strict vegetarians. Prosauropods like Lufengasaurus probably illustrate what that transition looked like. Lufengasaurus is a relatively small dinosaur, at least compared to the giant sauropods that came later. It stood about 10 feet, or 3 meters, high, and its body was up to 18 feet, or about 6 meters, long. Paleontologists estimate that it weighed as much as 500 pounds, or about 220 kilograms. And what did Lufengasaurus eat? Scientists studied the dinosaur's teeth and other features of its skeleton to answer this question. Most scientists have concluded that Lufengasaurus was probably a plant eater. But Lufengasaurus had some other traits usually found among meat eaters. As a result, some scientists have suggested that Lufengasaurus ate a variety of foods, including plants, but also small animals. Let's take a closer look at the evidence. Scientists know from fossils that the earliest dinosaurs, including the ancestors of Lufengasaurus, were all meat eaters. This is because the teeth of the earliest dinosaurs are all shaped like pointed knife blades. Teeth like this are often seen in predators, even those that live today, like lions and sharks. The sharp, pointy teeth are useful for seizing prey, killing prey, and then ripping and tearing the prey apart so it can be swallowed. Lufengasaurus had blade-like teeth that were widely spaced. The teeth were also serrated, that is, the teeth had small notches along the edge like a saw blade. Teeth like this are useful for slicing through meat. These features suggest that Lufengasaurus was a meat eater. But the teeth were also wider at the bottom. Such wider teeth are not as useful for biting through meat as the teeth most predators have. This widening also makes the teeth stronger for chewing. Predators usually do not chew their food very much. They tend to bite off big chunks that they swallow whole. But animals that eat plants usually have to chop up or grind up the plant food before they swallow it. This is because plant leaves contain a tough substance called cellulose that is difficult to digest. Most plant-eating animals need to chew their food to start breaking down this tough plant matter. If Lufengasaurus chewed its food, then it probably ate plants. Another clue that Lufengasaurus was more likely a plant eater is its body size. Lufengasaurus was not as large as the giant sauropods that followed, but it was still a very large animal. In fact, it was about the largest land animal alive at the time. Although some dinosaur predators did become large, Lufengasaurus probably would have had a difficult time getting enough food to support its large body if its diet was nothing but small animals. Instead, it probably ate huge quantities of leaves that were broken down and digested in its huge stomach, much like cattle or elephants or other large plant-eating animals today. Both today and in the age of dinosaurs, the largest animals on land are plant eaters. In addition to the teeth and body size, features of its skeleton also suggest that Lufengasaurus ate plants. 
Its front legs were shorter than its powerful back legs. The animal walked on all fours, but probably wasn't very fast. Such slow locomotion would have made it difficult for Lufangosaurus to pursue or catch prey. Paleontologists can also tell that Lufangosaurus could stand up on its two back legs. Along with its long neck, this would have helped to feed on tall plants. Indeed, paleontologists who study plants observe that conifers, that is, cone-bearing plants, become very tall around the same time that prosauropods lived. Finally, the hands of Lufangosaurus had a large thumb with a big claw. Most people think of long, sharp claws as typical features on predators. But this big, sharp claw on Lufangosaurus may have been a handy tool for gathering plants to eat. A variety of plant-eating animals have long, sharp claws that they use for pulling branches and leaves toward their mouth for feeding. Giant claws are seen on other prehistoric animals, such as the ground sloth, which is a mammal, not a dinosaur, and was a strict vegetarian. And certainly, Lufangosaurus could have used this dangerous claw as a weapon to defend itself from predators. Of course, without direct evidence, paleontologists cannot be 100% certain what Lufangosaurus ate. But by examining the indirect evidence from the anatomy of these dinosaurs and comparing this evidence to living animals, paleontologists can learn a great deal about the diet and way of life of these long extinct dinosaurs.